Okay, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side taste test of two pork shoulders that are almost identical. One's gonna get injected and one not. This one, they're both gonna get a carve along the top to make a crisscross pattern in the fat, which adds more surface area. Then the Tony Sachery's, uh, this is a garlic and herb injection. This stuff is magnificent. So the one on the top gets the injection and you pull out a little bit as you inject so it doesn't have a huge bubble in there and it spreads out the injection mixture a little bit more. And then the bottom one did not get the injection, but they both get the Tony Sachery's rub. Now this rub requires no extra salt. It's, it's got plenty of salt in it. It's just wonderful as a, a standalone. Now they're gonna go into the smoker. They're gonna be set side by side or back to back actually and cooked identically. So we have a good experiment. They get a spritz of some apple juice uh, periodically throughout the cook and there's a water pan in there. Then at 167 degrees, they go into the peach butcher paper. And butcher paper allows for them to breathe and at the same time hyper accelerates the breakdown of the connective tissues. And then um, this actually helps push the stall faster, but it also has better bark with the paper as opposed to, say, foil. Once they hit 203, they came out and went into a cooler. They were in the cooler each for at least an hour. Then we pulled them out of the cooler, put them in a side-by-side -side pan to, to compare and contrast. Cut the paper away, so we get to it. Then the, the shoulder blade came out. It came out clean, and I thought, well, is there going to be much difference? And man, there was a huge difference. The when we started to pull them apart, the one on the top there is the one that was injected with the Tony Sachery's garlic and herb. The one on the bottom wasn't. And it at first it was tender, but as I got into the center, it was pretty tough and it wasn't nearly as, as juicy. And then watch it, I squeezed. That's a piece from the bottom one that did not get injected. And this one, oh, yeah, that one just kind of explodes right there uh, because it's so tender. The outside of the meat tasted nearly identical, but the interior meat tasted much better than the injected pork shoulder with that garlic and herb being very prevalent. At the end here we made a sandwich with some barbecue sauce and some coleslaw and you know which should only be used as a condiment and not a side dish and here is our final product. It was magnificent. If you get a chance do the side by side. I'm telling you I will never not inject again.